All right, guys. Hey, a couple of things here before we get started. I'm not like I really should have written this down. Not really so much announcements, but just other stuff. So first of all, apologies for the slow amount of uploads recently. But I think my last GBO video was what five or something days ago, and you guys got a stream in between then and now. Which I mean, I suppose that's all right. But I've been feeling kind of down on myself recently. I've been kind of not feeling myself recently. That's kind of what's been going on. But then I kind of figured out that I'm a YouTuber now. I'm a VTuber now. I'm a streamer. By the way, I, by the way, I stream on Twitch. We'll we'll get on more on that later. Links as always in the description. But we're doing stuff now. I have you know I have certain responsibilities as a streamer and a VTuber and stuff and all that kind of crap. So I can't just be down on myself for that. So we're getting so we're getting back into the saddle here. I've also been doing a lot more drawing, working on a whole bunch of manga pages. Not sure I necessarily want to share them, but maybe you'll see them, maybe you won't have insight on that yet. Third thing is on the week of this video's upload, I think. Oh yeah, definitely on the week of this video's upload. I just looked at the date. On the week of this video's upload, I will be gone doing army bullshit. <clears throat> I will be gone doing army bullshit for three days, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, for those, I'll probably try to schedule a video for you guys for Saturday. And then on Sunday, likely we're just going to do a shortish live stream of Gundam Evolution. That's likely what's going to happen. And for that specifically, I'm going to try Restream so I can stream both on YouTube and on Twitch simultaneously. So you guys just don't get the unedited VOD that I just throw up here because I don't have time to edit it. So that's what's probably going to end up happening. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. Without further ado, I think that's all I had to say. That all I had to say. I will figure it out later, but that isn't all I had to say. We will put it in the next video. Or I'll just redo this entire goddamn thing. Make myself nice and small. We can see what's going on. As you see, the video's name is EOD, but let's actually jump right into this some bitch. Full suit team, move out. That is loud. <laughs> Alright, this time we're going in with the Gym 3 Power. Definitely one of the meta suits at 450. 450, I'm not going to say it's strange or unique, but it's definitely one of the tiers where there is a very, very clear meta, and that is Begin Jetta, Gym 3 Power. It's kind of it. It's kind of these, these, those just dominate up here. With my boy, the drunk Zaka, with a guy whose name is Camper, but is not the camping camper, as we An all know. And in th this game's incredibly annoying. We should be playing, I guess, I think we're fighting against a party of three. I love this. Kind of debating on how precisely I want to take this guy on, but that is what it is. Gym 3 Powered is interesting because it's built and designed around its ability to tackle. It has a level 5 tackle, it doesn't have maneuver armor, it does have a dodge roll. Only one. And it's not good. Nope, I didn't see it there. That yeah, decided to get the hell out of there. Unfortunately, his shield ends up taking the stun. Yeah, that's the combo you can... Hey! I'm, I'm still not very good with this thing, obviously. It's not a suit that I use very often, and it's... I'm not gonna say... Its game plan is different from that of most other mobile suits. I think, ideally, what you want to do is stun into downswing and attack on the downswing into attack. I think that's ideally what you want to do. But obviously, Select tackle requires and boost, and I tend to use my boost very liberally, very, very liberally. So oftentimes, I don't have enough to just to do the combo fully, and even so, Requesting to sort. doing the things the Gym 3 does the is just really freaking awkward for me. An ally has marked and that would have been a pretty good opportunity to downswing tackle. Am I going to do it here? Nope. I'm treating this as if it's any other mobile suit, which it isn't. And this is kind of what I... I know I was talking about it, like, weeks ago on a video. About how it's better to... It's better to go with what you know. It's better to use a weapon that you actually know how to use than a weapon that you don't. Got to kill him. I was talking about it with a guy who was saying, so if you don't know how to use the Gundam Hammer, you should use the Beam Saber, and I told him yes. This is what I mean. This is exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Here I am waiting. 
I forget precisely what happens, but I know that we basically just go, me and Zaka here just are basically acting like EOD. Explosives, ordnance, disposal. Right. Should be just barely enough time to get back. I, I don't think they ever end up getting a base bomb onto us. Yeah, because. Yeah, because, uh. The enemy is taking B. So we go in there. Five seconds, four, three, two, grab it. Yes, okay. Now, as long as they can protect me, we're fine. No idea if they're going to be able to. At this point, it's out of my hands. I have to stay here. It's up to them to stop these guys. Doesn't matter. We still got it. Now I'm yelling at Zaka. He's still in here, asshole. Still in here, asshole. Still in here. He's still in here. But I don't think Zaka... No, he's not using a bazooka, so he has absolutely no way of taking him out from his mobile suit. So he has to get down in there with us. The enemy has de requesting to sortie. An allied unit but apparently it was, the threat was taken care of, so I get back in my mobile suit. So this is probably not going to be a proper tutorial of the Gym 3 pack, because I'll be honest, I do not know how to use it. It's not a suit I like using. I always prefer using the Jetta. Me trying to bait a shot while... Wow. Yeah, I always prefer the Jetta. But this thing has a very good niche up here because... It's a hard counter. I mean a hard counter. You stop. It's a hard counter. Look at that. Nah, I don't quite get the tackle off there. Would have been awesome if I did, but I did. But there you go. We could have downswung our tackle, and downswung our tackle. We could have done that. This thing X is a very hard counter to the Gundam Alex CA, or the Chobham Armor. I don't know why he, why we, why he, I take damage there, I'll be honest with you. Just so I can go for a tackle. The good thing about having such a powerful tackle is that you don't have to worry about accidentally knocking down your teammates. Unfortunately, I dodged roll there, but I, this thing does not have double dodge roll, so I can, I couldn't tackle afterwards. I said I'm honest, I am not very good with this thing. I, I don't I don't use I don't like using it. Even as a regular general, it's actually pretty good. Even if you use like regular general, it's pretty good. But you're not using it to its maximum efficiency. <laughs> so yeah. Homeboy's going in there, so I'm going in there. There he is. Unfortunately I missed that. Got him. And again, defuse. What is this? The freaking... It's not the third defuse? I, is it the third? I know it's the third time a guy got it. That's for a fact. But I'm not sure they got the bomb off the second time. We've managed to bring it back. Usually with GBO, once you lose the first team fight, uh, generally you're going to lose the game. But despite losing the first team fight by quite a large margin, we managed to bring it back. I think that's because they keep on sacrificing one guy to go for the base bomb. So we're always fighting them at a new miracle advantage. I think that's what's going on here. If I had Zaku's perspective and I had more time to look, and I looked at the sphere four times, I'd be able to tell you more thoroughly. Two minutes left in the mission. Yeah, hard counter to the Alex CA. The Alex CA has stun protection only to ballistic weapons. So while the Jedis still can do a pretty good chunk of damage to it, even with all the uh, ballistic resistance, this thing can really mm. just... Stun, downswing, tackle. It, it can do all this stuff, because the CA doesn't have a dodge roll. That's how you do it, my friend. That's how you, that's the combo. That's the combo. Look at him. It did, like, two-thirds of his health. And of course, damage isn't, isn't everything. Damage is not everything. Unfortunately, because of the way this thing works... I end up hitting the shield there. Because of the way this thing works, obviously, you end up using... Sorry, I, I, I am invested in getting this guy. Miss. So now I have to get him there. Got him. Alright, cool. 
But obviously, the whole problem with this guy is you have to end up using your boost in order to get anything done. An allied unit has been destroyed. Me switching to my bazooka I think because I think I can still get him. Doesn't matter. Got him anyway. I wonder if Zako had to die because I made that mistake, and I also wasn't fully reloaded, which is also a problem, but I didn't predict I'd be able to do this, or I would be in here to do this. So that means kind of... So because you end up using so much boost on your combo, that means you have none afterwards to, say, escape a bad situation, or just get some distance, or reposition, or XYZ. You are incredibly vulnerable after you do your combo, which is what I really don't like about it. No other mobile suit really has that problem. And of course this thing doesn't we have won. move on or damage. I, I think it has damage it. control, but it doesn't have shock damage. So, problem. Anyway. Anyway, despite having still no ideas, I think this is like my first game in this thing, and then the second game I do in this thing, I think I do better. But despite this being my, um... My first game in this thing, but like, I, I still don't really know how to use it. Still got top damage, at least on our team, and top score. And we just won it out barely. Those guys were going for the bomb each and every single freaking time. They were incredibly annoying to deal with. And this is kind of an incredibly meta team. Two Jim, three Powers, and a Jetta. That's <laughs> Jim, three Jetta. If you're trying to win... Just use one of those two suits, you will do fine. If you're trying to if you're trying to win, if you're trying to do well, just use one of these two suits. Even if you do poorly, you still don't do poorly. Anyway, guys, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also, if I remember, and I should remember because I'm saying it, and I'm gonna edit this video as soon as it's done, I should have a new Discord invite down below, as well as a link to Zaku's channel. So yeah, I will see y'all next time. Ooh. Not the worst stats in the world, all things considered. A little high on diversion, a little high on diversions, I would say. I don't like being shot at. What do you want from me? But yeah. I will see you guys later.